with spring training just around the corner, I think it's time for us fans to take a cautionary look at spring training and remember that the stats that we see do not matter. We haven't seen baseball activity in a long time, and so a lot of times we jump at players who do really well in spring training and think, oh, are they going to keep this up? Do we have the next great player here? Or we look at players who struggle in spring training and we question their ability. But we should not be doing this. We got to remember of two big, since two players last year for the Yankees who had great spring trainings and then okay to bad regular seasons. The first is Marwin Gonzalez. If you remember Marwin Gonzalez in spring training, this guy was a non-roster invite and he was amazing in nine games. He hit 375, had a slugging percentage of 792, an OPS over 1,000. I mean, he was great. He was the switch hitting infielder. What's not to love about him? He, you know, he was great in 2017 when he hit above 300. Maybe he's found that spark. Maybe he's back to being that type of player. And then he wasn't. In 85 games with the Yankees, he hit 185 with a 576 OPS. That's an example of someone who was amazing in spring training, and we got our hopes up, and then just fizzled out in the regular season. The biggest example last year in my mind was Kyle Higashioka. Higashioka in spring training hit seven home runs in 11 games. He hit above 400, had a slugging percentage above 1,000, an OPS about 1.7. I mean, this guy was hitting the ball everywhere and hitting it over the fence. And then he went back to his old self. He hit 227 in the regular season, a 653 OPS, 10 home runs in 83 games. He just went back to his old self. And that's the thing about spring training. Players can be crazy good for seven games, ten games. Players can be crazy bad for seven or ten games when they're just warming up to start the season. We should not be looking at the spring training stats that we see and be thinking that they are indicators of a player's success in 2023. We should look at previous years to be doing that, and we should not be jumping on so many spring training storylines. You know, if Aaron Judge in spring training doesn't hit a single home run, okay. He's still a great ball player. Doesn't do well in spring training. I don't care. It matters when it's the regular season, and we know he'll be there for the regular season. So, just a cautionary tale about spring training stats for us Yankee fans to remember. 